Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial video, we'll be installing as well as setting up Tweepy, which is a Python library for accessing the Twitter API. With Tweepy, you can do things such as like, retweet, comment, tweet, and so much more. Before we start though, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you want more tutorials like this. The first thing we need to do is to install Tweepy. Now I'll be using pip or pip to install Tweepy. So I'll head over to my command prompt or terminal and I'll type in pip install Tweepy. Then I'll hit enter and wait for the installation to complete. After this we need to create a Twitter developer account in order to actually have permission to use their API and all its functions. So I'll go to my internet browser and go to twitter.com. Make sure to be logged in with the account that you want to use the bot on. Also make sure that your account has a phone number added. Then go to more, click on settings and privacy, go to additional resources, developers, apply, then apply for developer account. Choose the one relevant to you, I'll choose hobbyist, and then click on making a bot. Then click on get started. Make sure that all the information here is set up correctly and then click on next. After this you'll need to give Twitter a bunch of information, just make sure to be honest and give them everything they need. After you've filled everything in, you can go ahead and click next. This next page basically just gives a summary of all the information. So just review everything and once you're sure it's correct, you can go ahead and click next. Then we just need to accept the developer agreement and the Twitter developer policy here, then we can go ahead and and click submit application. After that we should land on this page. Click create project. Give your project a name then choose the option that best describes the way you intend to use the Twitter developer platform. Then you can give your project a description. Then the last step is to give our app a name. After clicking complete you'll land on a page where you have two API keys as well as a bearer token. Make sure to save all three of these in a place where you'll easily be able to find them. So I'll open up notepad and save them accordingly. Make sure that you know which one is which. After saving all three of these I'll click this cross at the top. Once again they'll encourage us to save this information but since we already have we can go ahead and click yes. We then reach our dashboard but there are still two things we need to do before we set up our bot in Python. Go to projects and apps, click on your app, then here inside settings where it says app permissions make sure it's set to read and write if you're planning on not only seeing other people's tweets but creating your own tweets as well. Then go to keys and tokens. Here where it says access token and secret we want to click generate in order to get two new tokens. Make sure to save these in the same place that you saved all your other keys and tokens. Make sure to be able to tell which one is which when saving, then go and click yes I saved them and this is all we need to start getting into the code. So I have the project set up here and the first thing we need to do is to import Tweepy. So we type import Tweepy. After this we need to authenticate to Twitter by typing two lines of code. First we'll be creating an OAuth handler instance which we will pass our API keys into. OAuth is basically a way for two services to send and receive information between each other without using login details such as your password. This first argument takes your API key as a string and the second argument takes your API secret key as a string as well. If you want you can save your API key in a variable like this and then in here we can pass our API key variable. Now we type auth.set access token and we'll be passing two string arguments in here. The first is our access token and the second will be our secret access token. Now this next step you don't have to do it's just so that you can't see what my credentials are. So yours should still look something like this unless of course you have another method of inserting your credentials into these functions. Alright so I created a function to go through this text file which stores all my credential info. Then I can use the function to return the credentials and store them into these variables. Now like I said this is just that you can't see my info, you can still directly pass in your credential info if you please. Now moving on we need to create an API object instance in order to access certain methods inside the API class by typing API equals tweepy.api then passing auth as an argument. This will allow our bot to do tasks such as tweeting, retweeting, reading tweets, liking and much more. Now we should be done initializing our program. We can now run our program and it should give no errors, hopefully. And just to be even more sure we can verify our credentials and see if everything works by creating try and accept blocks. And in here we type api.verify credentials. And in this print statement we can type something like everything works and if the program works then this will be our output. Then here we can give ourselves an error message and say something went wrong. When we run our code we see that everything works. Now we have everything set up and we can actually use Tweepy to do the exciting stuff. So as an example we could create a tweet by typing api.update status and in this method we pass a string as the actual text that we want to tweet. Now when we run our bot it says that everything works and we see that the program stopped running. So when we head over to Twitter we can see our tweet right here. And with that said we now have Tweepy set up and in future videos I'll be creating tutorials on how to use Tweepy for tweeting, retweeting and all the other stuff. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you want to see more tutorials like this. Other than that though thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed and that the video helped and I hope to see you in the next one.